Governor Greg Abbott, meanwhile, has banned COVID-19 vaccine mandates for anybody in the state, including private employers. Cities, counties, school districts, and government agencies were already banned from requiring the COVID-19 vaccine, and now this new executive order takes it a step further. It bans any entity in our state from requiring the vaccine. KPRC2 reporter Roseanne Aragon has been tracking this order, and Ro, this is seen as a reaction to President Biden. Essentially, yes, constitutional law experts here say this is all a preemptive move to the president's expected vaccine mandate. And if even private companies don't comply, the order indicates they could be fined. The governor issuing an executive order stating no entity in Texas can compel receipt of a COVID-19 vaccine by any individual, including an employee or a consumer who objects to such vaccination for any reason of personal conscience based on a religious belief or for medical reasons, including prior recovery from COVID-19. While some agree... It's kind of fair of who, you know, you get to choose what you want to do. I don't really think it should be mandated by anyone. Others... Yes, you have your own preference as to whether you want to be vaccinated or not, but I don't think you should be in the workforce. You're looking out for, you know, others around you. Analysts say... If you're an entity in Texas, you cannot mandate vaccines for COVID. Uh, it's very straightforward on this face. Uh, but it isn't clear what happens to businesses that employ people in many states. So, for example, uh, a worker on United flies from Chicago to Houston. Uh, is that an entity in Texas or an entity in Illinois? Uh, I think there's a lot of uncertainty about this order so far. And Blackman says expect lawsuits. Many companies already have vaccine mandates in place. And now those mandates could put them in violation of state law. So I think a lot of CEOs and a lot of general counsels now are freaking out, figuring how are we now going to enforce a mandate without running afoul of Texas law. And Abbott is doubling his efforts, adding this to the state lawmakers' third special session agenda, saying he would rescind the executive order if it passed into law. That is the very latest reporting live downtown. Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, 2 News.